In today's tutorial, we'll be creating the static effect using After Effects. So I've seen this requested quite frequently lately, and I figured let's make a quick tutorial on how to achieve this effect. So this is the shot I'm gonna be working with, and the first thing I wanna do here is duplicate it, and I'll name this one Roro, and this one Background. Let me go ahead and isolate the Roto layer, and I'll choose the Roto brush, double click my layer, and just select the subject that I want to rotoscope. Again, I mention this every time when rotoscoping. What you want to do with the first frame is give it the best accuracy you can. So choose every detail here and unselect anything that you don't need. And then the brush will achieve the best results possible. So quickly select all the elements you want to. Make sure everything seems correct. And once you're done, we can hit play and see that it's running through pretty well. So let's go ahead and click on freeze and wait for this to finish. All right, once this is done, we have our rotoscope layer here. As you can see, a pretty good result. What I want to do here is go into the feather and maybe increase this just a bit. So maybe set it to 15. The shift edge I will set to minus 5 and reduce chatter maybe 5 as well, just in case we have some chattering here around the beard part. So let's go ahead and add the actual static effect. And I'll be using a simple overlay like this one. I'll be leaving a link in the description for this one if you want to use this, but anything similar will work just fine. So let me just scale this down a bit. And what you want to do here, let's rename this to static. And I'll drop this below my roto layer and make it an alpha mat to the rotoscope layer we just created. So we are already getting this type of effect. Now let's add some color to this. So we can use an effect like tint, for example. And let me change the map white to something bluish. Hit OK. And this is our basic static effect. So for our background layer, I'll hit T for opacity and set it to about 50. And I also want to add a slight tint effect. So I'll add the tint effect and maybe set it to 30. So we're getting this interesting look. Now there's also a quick chromatic aberration we can add, which is a free plugin. Or if you have something similar, you can use that. And I'll set the position to something like two and we're just getting this chromatic effect in the background. Now for the main static effect, this is how it usually looks, but I figured it's too blank and solid. So what can I do to make this a bit more interesting? And I realized if I duplicate my roto layer, let's rename this to something like detail. I will enable this layer and I'll add an effect called extract and let me just isolate this and here I can go ahead and extract some of the white maybe and some of the black just a bit and we'll up the softness here as well maybe lower this down a bit and if we enable back the rest of the layers we're getting this kind of a cool effect here which bring up some of the details so it's not so flat and I can also set the opacity to maybe something like 70 and this already makes the effect look much more interesting, in my opinion. And lastly, let's add a touch of glow here. So on my original Roto mask layer, I will add a simple glow. And let's just up some of the settings here, maybe down the intensity. And just to give this sort of a glowing outline here. So this is how you can achieve the static effect. I hope this short tutorial was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.